Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com, and it's time for another Squarespace Rapid Fire Critique, and I want to let you know that going forward for the time being, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you can find the latest critiques. People have been asking, when will they come out? Tuesdays and Thursdays, come back to YouTube or to my website to see if I pick your website or best 10 photos to be critiqued. If you haven't submitted your images yet or your website, click the link down below here on YouTube. It takes you over to my website to give you the form to fill out where I try to critique as many as possible, but you could also leave them down here on YouTube as comments. So let's get into this critique and we have DN Photos. Now I know that stands for David Novin because I've I've known the guy for a while. I used to run into him in the Philly scene before he moved out to Colorado. He does a lot of work with uh, like Modest Yahoo and bands like that. So here it is. His website address is dnphotos.rocks. I don't know about .rocks because what is dnphotos.com? Like if you tell somebody to go to dnphotos.com, it is... <laughs> Daniel Norton or dnphotos.com is Daniel Nahamad. So I don't know. Oh, we should critique his site because it looks like it sucks. Uh, anyway, let's let's go back to David Novin's site. I would not go with a dot rocks site. I have never heard of dot rocks site. Does that mean you're like an anthropologist and you study rocks, or is that a genealogist, or a gemstoneologist, or a gemstoneology guy? I don't know. Dot Rocks is not something, I've never heard of Dot Rocks. David, Novin, I know you have a project called Drums From Above. I'd rather have you call it drumsfromabove.com. In fact, let's type in drumsfromabove.com and see what happens. Drumsfromabove.com. Drumsfromabove.com. There it is. And it literally takes you back to his website that says dnphotos.rocks. I drop the dot rocks all day long. So we get into David's website and we can see that we have a big gallery of these shots right here. A lot of fisheye shots. Yeah, good. You stay near red rocks. Cool. This processing absolutely kills me. This desaturation stuff kills me. Now that's my personal preference. Remember with the critique, I'm just saying that this kills me. Now this is a great shot because it's a full on shot of Red Rocks being full to capacity, but this desaturated stuff is terrible in my opinion. Hold on, I'm back to the concert areas. What, 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 what is this? I hit back and it takes me to somewhere else? That makes absolutely no sense. If I go ahead and I hit back, why is it taking me to a different gallery? I don't know. Somebody look into that, David. David, look into that. I don't know why that's happening. That makes absolutely zero sense to me. So I'm scrolling through, yeah, I see this. Is this snow, a not straight line, and a fisheye shot? And I go back, and it doesn't take me back to where I want to go. Anyway, more desaturated, more desaturated. So I'll tell you that I know that David has only been shooting photos for the past couple years. Um, he's starting to find his way and find his place. He's able to get access. you got to give the kid credit. He's getting access to bands by either being a, uh, a stagehand or, or just call it, making calls and getting access. I know that's what he does. But I'm seeing here a lot of fisheye shots. Retire the freaking fisheye freaking freaking lens. What happens is young photographers get the fisheye lens and they think that it's the coolest thing since sliced bread to take a picture and you can see everything. It also takes out the entire ability to be creative because you literally take a picture and even at 2.8 everything's in focus. The fisheye lens has its place. Ve a very small place in a camera bag. Rectilinear photos take on a better place and get better images in my opinion. Fisheye is passe, overdone crap. Don't overdo it. You're overdoing it. And this goes for anybody else out there. You think that the fisheye is cool, it's not cool. It may be cool somewhere, but it's not really cool when it comes to taking a lot of photos. It, 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 it just shows that I think what you do is you start to rely too heavily on being able to see everything in the frame, taking a shot, it's bowed and it looks like shit. I did it for a long time also, but then I realized that it looks stupid, that all I was doing was getting everything in the shot, and wow, no creative nature went into doing that. Uh, I'm gonna get shit for this, but whatever. Stop using the fisheye lens. Pull it out one out of every 10,000 photos. 
not that many, a little less. It has its place on occasion, but most spots, like, cool. Like, yay, fisheye. And I go back, and it takes me to drums from above. Why? You know, so that's all I'm saying. So do I like this layout? I don't mind. Is it too many of the same photos like this and then this? I would have one, re oh God, he went to HDR. So he's still trying to find his way in the world today. I know it takes everything, everything you got. Um, what did that say? Oh, every time I click that, it, it, it says underneath his phone number and everything else. So the photos are fine. I just think David needs to get better with processing, needs to understand that better. Because something like this could, uh, it's a fisheye shot, so I hate it, but something like this could be better if he pulls back on the exposure and pumps the contrast. And I know that's my opinion or what I like to do, but I think that a stronger, like, look at advertising images right now. Advertising images are full of these composites that are over uh, just edited. Now, they work because they capture your attention. This to me just looks like a snapshot. So I'm not yelling, back to drums from above. I'm not yelling at David. I'm, I mean, I'm yelling verbally, but I'm not saying that you're doing a bad job. I give you full on credit for getting access to all of this stuff and getting these images. Just get rid of the damn freaking fisheye and start concentrating on more detailed style shots. And if you're gonna do stuff like this, get the line straight because the lines aren't straight. I'm a stickler for lines. Oh, maybe that's why it's going back to a back gallery? Because when I hit back, it takes me, oh. Okay, I guess I'm done yelling because there was an X up here. I didn't realize it. I could have just hit escape. Up, oh, it's a Squarespace website taking me back to the login page. <laughs> yeah, because look, I hit escape and it's taking me to log in. Turn that off on your Squarespace. I don't know why Squarespace doesn't have that as default, because the fact that I can sit here and hit escape, okay, I need to keep moving on. So these are his concert photos. That's the first place it leads me into the website, so obviously he's pushing that. Then let's go to portraits and see what we have. Portraits are looking nice and strong. Dog portrait, yes. Why does the dog portrait have a DN photo? This is your website. If it's your website, you don't need your you don't need your watermark on your images. That's still up, to, up for debate whether you want to keep it on when you put it on social media. That's up to you to figure out. But on your own website, you do not need to have a, a uh, watermark. Get rid of it on your website. I'm going to hold true and firm to that. DN photo photos. So it looks like he built this logo in Squarespace, being that I know that Squarespace has a logo builder. I wouldn't use a Polaroid, an old Polaroid camera, because you're not that photographer. I would go out there to 99designs or some other website out there, uh, some other design site, and hire a designer to design your, uh, uh, to design a logo for you. But DN Photos, I may have to say, drop DN, where's your name? Why don't you have your David Novin, or Dean Novin, or whatever it is, Dean Novin Photos, because there's too many people with D, like, Dot Rocks doesn't work, coming back to that. Okay, portraits were good, for the most part. Don't cut off the guy's foot, David. That's a no-no. This is a great shot right here. I love it because of the lights. He probably stole it from my Modest Yahoo shot, David. Did you do that? Did you get that idea from me? It's okay because we've all borrowed things from other people. So there's some nice shots on here. Um, don't take portraits with, oh my God. Is there a fisheye portrait in here somewhere I could yell at? Is there? Is, oh yeah, there it is. Okay, I'm going to keep going. So drums from above is something that David started, which makes sense. He, ha he has a studio. He sets up the drum, uh, gets the guitar, the drummers to come in and shoot uh, their drums from above. This one's great because they got them. He has him throwing the stick. This is awesome. But what I will tell you is that this should only be drums from above. You should only have drums from above on here or come up with a list that when you click on a photo, it takes you into another gallery with other photos from that. I don't think the portraits should be in here with it. I think drums from above should be drums from above and that's it. Anything else, these portraits should go in another section and, and that's, that's what I have to say. So. This is good stuff. That is a great thing right here, the Drums From Above initiative. I would probably move it to the forefront. I would probably make Drums From Above your main category. Even your website address, map it to drumsfromabove.com because you tell people what's your website and you're like, Drums From Above. They're going to be like, damn, that's better than dnphotos.rocks. It's drumsfromabove.com.
So do that. I, I highly suggest that. Symbols for change, not even sure what that is. Metal prints, I guess you can order prints from him. You know, order fisheye prints, I guess. $175 for a 12 by 18 and $300 marked down from 500 for a 20 by 30. It's costing him about 180 or $165 from Adorama Picks for a print. Um, selling prints is one thing. I mean, you got to have the following to want to sell you print weddings. So this site is all over the place. Do you do weddings? Do you do concerts? What do you want to be known for? Or just a repository? Why don't we go to the About page real quick? I know I was close to that. David Novin, freelance event photographer in Denver, Colorado. Clients. Uh, so those are people that you've worked with. I don't know if they're actually all clients per se, maybe people that he's worked with. But freelance event photographer, why are you, why are you calling yourself a freelancer? Call yourself a freaking photographer, David, and come up with a paragraph here about yourself. Why are you leaving this blank? Hi, my name's David Novin. I live in Col Denver, Colorado, formerly from Philadelphia, PA. will go anywhere I need to go in the world to capture the best moments possible. All right? That's one paragraph. Next paragraph. I love music photography. I started a project called Drums From Above, and what, what that is is I take pictures of drummers, blah, 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 from above. Do that. That's your focus. If you're interested in any type of other photography, I do things like weddings, portraits, and things like that. I also do this, that, and other things. But if that's if you're trying to get everything... Oh, my God, I'm talking like a mile a minute. So that's something that you could do to tell people what you like to shoot. I would move drums from above all the way back to the beginning. So let's see what type of wedding. So the wedding photos look fine. Is this a fish eye shot? Is this a fish eye shot of a bride... It's one thing you never do is a fisheye shot of a bride. And this is, shit, I thought it was like, why is it so desaturated? I was about to compliment the photo. Even this is desaturated. Yeah, I get it. It's all woo. Again, personal preference, but come on, David. Like, even like this is better. It has a little more contrast. It pops. This picture looks like it's, it looks like it's, meant to be in the background and it's gradated or opacity is down, I just think that's not a good type of edit. It needs to be better, in my opinion. So there's so many here. I would break weddings down into categories. Weddings, formal, event, you know, all those different types of things is what I would say. Uh, we did about, we did, you know, well, here's contact. Um, one other thing, if you haven't checked out Squarespace yourself, go to squarespace.com slash fro. What you're going to see is a pop-up that's going to give you your 10% off discount code. This is an affiliate link, which means if you use it, I get something for it. And for using my code FRO at checkout, you get 10% off your very first order. But go ahead and use it to get your 14-day free trial to determine if it's for you. You can buy your domain right there. You can do a, a starter website. You can do... I use jaredpolin.com. Jaredpolin.com is built in Squarespace. So back to this. So David, that's what I really have to say about that is get your photos uh, organized a little better. Do not do this dnphotos.rocks at all. To me, that makes absolutely no sense. And one last thing, if you guys want to get a free guide, it's absolutely free. Two and a half hours of free video about building an online presence. Go to fronosphoto.com slash branding right now to get that for free. Download the guide right here, and that's all I have to say about that. So, David... I think you've come a long way since you were in Philly and pick, decided to pick up a camera. Um, and so now you're doing a great job getting access. It's just going to take time. Throw out the fisheye lens. Work on your processing. Work on a website name. I think Drums From Above is a great thing. If you could pull it off, I'd focus in on that. Um, that's really what I have to say about that, guys. Remember, critiques, whether they're Squarespace Rapid Fire Critiques or Adorama Rapid Fire Critiques, come out on Tuesdays and Thursdays and Mondays you have Raw Talk. So I'm starting to build this schedule so that you guys know when to show up to the website. I'm going to try to put up the new video starting at 10 a.m. On, on Mondays, on Tuesdays, on Thursdays, or when you can find the videos I just mentioned. And that is pretty much where I'll leave it. Please subscribe here on YouTube to be notified when the new videos do go live. And that is where I'll end it. Jared, Poland, Photo.com. See ya.